Hello, I thought I'd be doing this outside today. I wanted to have some azaleas in the background and set the camera on top of my car and talk to you during a beautiful day, but no, it's raining out, so I can't do that. But I still have to talk to you because I am in crisis right now. Oh, yeah, it's a good crisis uh, of a sort. You know, I've ha I have too much business, and I don't go back to the well. There's a lot of things I, when I say go back to the well, I mean, I don't contact my customers very much because I don't have to. I'm very busy. I really don't need to go back. I shuffle them around as it is right now to uh, just so that it works out for my convenience. But... Uh, I don't do callbacks, I don't do networking, I don't really have to do that stuff because I have so much to do. A lot of the things I tell you to do are things I fish out of my memory. Well, I'm going to have to go back and start doing them again, I suppose. My wife and I have been having a long discussion about uh, the future of the business and how it's a crying shame they don't take advantage of all the contacts and goodwill they have established over the years. And so we have revisited this topic of hiring people again, which causes me to hyperventilate. But I know that she's right, and... You know, I, I hate uh, using as an excuse, well, I'm not a good employer. And I, I mean, I know I haven't been. But, you know, I tell you guys to learn from your mistakes, and I have to do it, too. So, anyway, I'm going to be uh, revisiting that. But along the way, um, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, if I really needed to do more business or bring in more volume because I had to support employees, what would I do? And I want to do some real power networking. And this idea is uh, involves me inviting people in the cleaning business to come over to my house. I have office space now, and uh, have them come over. We'll put out you know some sandwiches and sodas and stuff like that. And I would like to talk to these people from time to time and say, listen, you know, I would like to get to know you better and you get to know me better because I'd like to be able to send some work your way. However, I jealously guard my customers and I really, I want to make sure I'm not sending them uh, people that I don't think are trustworthy, loyal, helpful, courteous, kind of obedient, cheerful, brave, clean, and reverend, you know, all that good stuff. And so... Um, I guess what I'm trying to do is I'd like to start a networking group of people who, who are you know dedicated, really being uh, quality individuals, giving good service. Nobody has to network with me if they don't want to. I'll you know round file, round file their name and number, just just like that, uh, if they think that's not a good idea. But uh, the thing is, uh, I want to really you know, preach this message to other cleaning people that uh, we need to strive to be more than we are. You know, we're not just showing up to wipe up the dirt in somebody's house. People rely on us and trust us, and it's, you know, your customers are more loyal. They're willing to keep paying you when you go up on, on your prices if they trust you, if they like you, if they believe in you. And that is something it takes a little while to cultivate. And what I'm hoping to get out of that is that, you know, I'll be the window cleaner that they always recommend when, um, you know, when one of their customers says, oh, I need somebody to clean these windows, and they don't want to do it. And uh, also, I want to be able to send them some work. I just found out recently that an old website of mine that I had up where I was going to uh, create sort of instant networking online for all kinds of people in various cleaning and lawn care businesses and things like that, that there were people that were actually ca uh, calling the, uh, them and getting jobs. I didn't really follow up on it after... My project failed. I just sort of said, eh, what the heck? Well, one of my customers said, oh, yeah, that was a great site, and I really missed that. And I called people, and that's where I got so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so. and I thought, huh, you know, I need to continue to keep uh, contact information and testimonials up for other people I believe in. But I need to seek them out, really find them. So that is part of what I'm going to be doing as part of my power networking project is that uh, yeah, I'm going to give these people some free space on my site where I can uh, laud their praises. But, you know, I want to meet with these people about once a month, get to know them. We'll, you know, I'm doing this at my expense. I think in the long run it's good for my business and it's good for their business. Why would they not want to be a part of this? Well, some won't, and that's fine because I don't want to pass the names of those people around. So anyway, 
<sighs> um, next time I talk to you, I probably will not have hired someone already, but I will be starting to, uh, you know, get my ducks in a row, as they say, uh, to uh, to embark on that thrilling project. So, anyway, uh, this is Don the Window Cleaner, letting you know what's going on in my life and in my business. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.